man has real problems with Muslims, not just Islam. He, in this video, as you're going to see, was speaking about sacrifices in Hajj. And he tries to mute this after it's come up on the internet, probably because he's f afraid that, that such video is going to be taken down. He tries to mute this, but he says about people, Muslims, being trampled in Hajj, mm. which is something that's happened. Anyway, just to make it short, this is the introduction of Mr. Muhammad Hijab, peace of Christ to all of you. <clears throat> Muhammad Hijab, he start as usual, his videos always by insulting people, calling them names. He called the guy uh, cockroach, he called him uh, all kind of names. Um, but uh, the problem is Muhammad Hijab, he prepared a team to refute uh, this ex-Muslim team. I don't know why Muhammad Hijab is not getting me his team and calling me live on air. Let us see how Muhammad Hijab and his team, they refute things. If you don't, it's a six hour or however hour, however long this video is. Six hour videos. To refute someone, you call him stupid. I mean, obviously, if he's saying something stupid, why you only to refute him? It looked like the stupid is the one who take time of six hours to refute someone stupid. And then... Uh, let us say he's a stupid. Aren't you a Muslim who want to save him to bring him back to Islam? So you call him rat or cockroaches or whatever you call him. And, and you know, you are doing the same exactly as your prophet. You are not refuting him. Now let us go back to the topic because you, you see this, uh, this video is long. And uh, Muhammad Hijab, he, uh, like, he helped me actually. I really appreciate his help. He make it simpler for me and easy to take them one by one and break them into pieces and everybody will laugh at how those team the team which Muhammad Hijab, he, Hijab, Hijab, uh, Mimi Hijab consider that they are his masters video mm -hmm. if you don't want to watch the whole thing there's going to be timestamps on how to deal with this video thank you for that perhaps some people have uh, put put forward a uh, shubha or a doubt of Islam mm. which you didn't know how to answer mm -hmm. this video actually provides a reasonable framework for answering the most common questions against Islam mm. uh, from an exegetical um, slash hermeneutical or jurisprudential perspective. Oof, 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 oof. All of this, those guys will do. Let us go to business. So now we will go to uh, the topic. I'm choosing one by one because some of them they are stupid and none of my business. So let us see uh, splitting the moon. How do you refute the guy? Speaking about splitting the moon. Alaikum guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be going through Ridvan's video about the moon splitting, or as he puts it. Which is pretty much the only miracle that Muhammad ever performed. Thank you Ridvan for exposing your ignorance. It is no surprise that Ridvan left Islam if you think about it. I mean, think about it. Think about it. List in your mind all the reasons why you are a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Then imagine that all you had was just the moon splitting. Mm. To Ridvan, the event of the moon splitting was merely 7th century hearsay. So yeah, no surprise that he left Islam to be honest. Mm -hmm. Back to the video. Mm. The moon was split in Muhammad's time as a miracle that would verify the authenticity of Muhammad's message. It failed horribly, <laughs> unless you are someone who doesn't like research and rationality. In the Quran, the event is mentioned very briefly. It says, the hour has come near, and the moon has split, but weirdly not seen by any other people except Muslims. Ah, this is where Ridvan went wrong. Just a few seconds ago, he quoted two verses that proved that the disbelievers saw the moon split. The Quran affirms quite clearly that the disbelievers did not reject that event, but rather explained it off as magic. It is important. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold, hold on, 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 hold on. First, the one who is reporting what you are claiming is you, Muslims. What is the disbelievers who say that to us? You see, remember, all Islamic books is Islamic books. And all what we have about the cult of Islam is Islamic books. They destroy anything. Anything will expose, humiliate Muhammad. So, look what they do. They say, oh no, they say this is magic. 
Okay, what is the proof of they say that magic? What is the proof that the moon split? Let us listen carefully what this guy will say because he will help us. To be aware that the Prophet, peace be upon him, recited these verses in public mm. continuously. For years he recited that the disbelievers saw the moon splitting and shrugged it off as magic. Correct. If no such thing occurred, mm. then he would have been called out for it. So noted, Van. It was so why they did not believe as long as the guy he split the moon for them. And uh, he explained to us, by the way, something very important. Very important. You know, I wonder if those who made the videos, which uh, Muhammad Hijab, he said that they are the professional who can help you to understand and refute uh, uh, any claim against Islam. I wonder if they are paid by Christians to make Islam look stupid. And you will see that. Just wait. It wasn't only the Muslims that saw the moon split, mm -hmm. but more importantly, the disbelievers affirmed that it split by claiming that it was magic. Mm. I just want to look at this. I don't really know what time of the day it was and uh, what season it was, whatever. But um, considering that it was early at night, the moon would have been visible in these areas. Or late at night, towards the morning, in these areas. You would expect that the Persians and the Romans, in this time the Byzantines, would document such a miracle. Because both of them, especially the Romans, kept records strictly of pretty much everything. There's another issue with Radvan's assumption here. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. Ah, Allah, he did the miracle in the wrong time. <laughs> I mean, those are the ones who is hired by, by Mimi Hijab to refute about the moon splitting. Guys, did you hear that? The problem, Rizwan, most of people, they were asleep at that time. We are speaking about a couple of continents. Everybody is asleep. Why? And the only one is awake is the Arab. <laughs> what a hilarious cult. Believers saw the moon splitting and shrugged it off as magic. If no such thing occurred, then he would have been called out for it. They did. So noted, Van. And we will prove it. It wasn't on. only the Muslims that saw the moon split, mm. but more importantly, the disbelievers affirmed that it split we will by show you claiming that, that it was magic. Mm. I just want to look at this. I don't really know what time of the day it was and uh, what season it was, whatever. But um, considering that it was early at night, the moon would have been visible in these areas. Or late at night, towards the morning, in these areas. You would expect that the Persians and the Romans, in this time the Byzantines, would document such a miracle. Because both of them, especially the Romans, kept records strictly of pretty much everything. There's another issue with Radvan's assumption here. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. I was asleep Remember, too. this is the 7th century. 7th century. More importantly, there is no reason to assume that the split occurred for a long duration of time. No, sure. So even if one was awake at the time, it is not likely that one would have noticed the moon splitting. Okay, hold on. So it is short time to the point that it's hard even to notice. So what the point of this miracle? Is it the point of miracle to show what this God can do and make them notice what he can do. So look at this stupidity. The miracle was very, 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 very short time. Brother, the miracle time is very short. And it's very short. To the point it's very hard to notice that it happened. <laughs> so they, he just confirmed that nobody was able to notice it. And yet he is saying to us, the kuffar saw that. If you just see it, it's not even noticeable to, to see it. It's a very short time. What Allah will lose if he make it for half hour? What I will and why Allah he did it when everybody is asleep? He can split the sun. <laughs> what a, what a difference between if God is God, he can do what about doing the sun where everybody is awake and then everybody will become a Muslim? My friend, your God cannot even split a cube of uh, cheese. Continue with your hilarious answer.
even if you did see the moon split for a short period, mm. you would most likely doubt yourself after seeing it return. See how stupid Allah is. Do you see how Allah is stupid? He did it wrong because it was a very short time. So to the point you will say like I was imagining, I think it's not true. Do you see how stupid this answer is? And those are the one who uh, Mimi Hijab, he sent to answer this guy. I'm really convinced. Turn to its original state, hmm. going around telling other town folk. And the moon goes back to the original state. <laughs> Why? Why Allah, he make it back to the original state? Give me an answer, brother. We will get you busted. Just wait. I'm just waiting for you to finish your uh, hilarious, smart, genius answer. Folk that you saw the moon split would pretty much cause them to doubt your sanity. Mm -hmm. If you were someone that documented events. So maybe your prophet himself was an insanity. Because you just said, seeing such a scene for a very short period of time, and there's no proof that it happened because it's very short, as you said, that will cause people to doubt that even it happened. So now you lost not only the argument with the guy that this is does not happen, you lost the argument where God, which is your God, is so foolish to the point he do not notice that those they will doubt that it even happened because it was so short. But you are the one who noticed that. But yet, remember, you said to us that the kuffar they noticed that and they did not doubt about it. And they claim it's just a magic. So you are contradicting yourself in less than three minutes. So now, if you see this, for it is for a short of time, the only way to explain why nobody report that is it's so short of time to the point, even if you see it, you will have a doubt that you saw something. Maybe it's not real. I mean, maybe I took too much vodka. Uh, uh, because the prophet he used to drink a lot of alcohol, alcohol three to four days a, a week. Actually, he teach Muslims how to make alcohol. Actually, the Muslims you go you used to go to pray, and they feel a drunk inside the mosque. As we see here, it says, Allah Himself He have to make a verse. Because the Muslim, they go to the mosque and they are drinking and they are drunk and they fell apart and the Arabs start making fun of Muhammad followers who they fell apart when they are praying. Bismillah, so he said, oh, you believe approach not the prayer when you are drunk. And the Muslim, they say Islam came in stasis. Stasis? So what is stasis? What does that mean? I mean, if they are believers, you tell the believers, the believers will not do that no more. That's it. What is thesis? But because Muhammad is a hypocrite man, he was drinking, enjoying the drink, and he, when he got sick, he cannot drink no more. Then he come, we will not drink no more. Because he was upset, he cannot drink, and he was dying from his illness, which is supposedly, according to Muhammad, uh, took long time, including... Additional to that, he took poison after that, and then he died from the poison. So if we go back to the refutation, which is inhal inhalatory. <laughs> inhalatory of Rizwan. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. You wouldn't believe whoever told you that it split in the first place. If by chance you were someone that did witness the moon splitting and went ahead to document it, then like most ancient documents. See, guys. The reason they did not report it that because nobody will believe you, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, when a Muslim he tried to explain something stupid in the Quran, you will notice how they are speaking to us, speaking to themselves, as if we are a bunch of kids in the age of six years old, like Aisha, when she is mature according to them, and she get married from the prophet at the age of six. Brother, because it's, uh, if you are a historian and you want to document uh, the moon split, who is going to believe you anyway, brother? Nobody. <laughs> okay, as long nobody will believe him. So why you believe Muhammad? You just said, if somebody documented that, nobody will believe it because it's silly, stupid, obviously, and there's no proof of it. And you just say that, even if you are exist at that time. 
So what you believe Muhammad you never saw what they said you never been there and you accept what they say to you and now you are defending like from all your like using you, the whole capacity of your brain trying to defend such a silly thing continue yours may have been lost due to the passage of time right or maybe not maybe such documentation has survived but we simply have not heard of it yet right so is the absence of evidence evidence of absence mm. if so then the great wall of china didn't exist during the time of marco polo since he uh, uh, uh. <laughs> my friend the, the the great wall is there and there's millions of people who build the wall and they are witnesses so marco polo is not necessarily to prove it who is your why and why you want Marco Polo to prove the wall? I mean <laughs> somebody told you the wall is all around the China? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> he didn't make mention of it in his writings. Mm. I don't even want to talk much longer about such nonsense. <laughs> Muslims should really ask themselves if they would really uh, this blindly believe in it if another religion made such uh, crap he claims. It really seems like Ridvan has a very shallow understanding of what occurred when the moon split. He okay. seems to believe that the Arabs were a bunch of gullible idiots who all converted to Islam when they were told about the moon split. Uh, okay, so the Arab... Okay, I agree with you. The Arab are not a bunch of stupid idiots. I am an Arab. But you're a prophet. Obviously, he is the one. Because look... As long as you are saying Arab, they cannot be stupid idiot. So how you explain to me as an example? Let me show you some of your prophet hadith. Let me show you the intelligence and the quality of your prophet. Uh, oops. We are typing. Excuse my keyboard. I don't have a Arabic keyboard. Look at this hadith. The Prophet, if you don't consider his followers at least, in the word we see in the hadith, how in the world somebody, he is smart, he is intelligent, he is decent, he says. Muhammad said, the Prophet, does anyone, does the one who raises his head before the Imam not fear that Allah may turn his head into head of a donkey? I mean, the, how silly this stupid thing is. Imagine you are now a prophet of God in the year 2020, and you are telling your followers, don't raise your head before I raise my head when you pray. And how you scare the hell of them so they will not raise their head by speaking to them about a monster will bite them from their butt. This is exactly what Muhammad is doing. He is inserting fairy tale threat. That if you raise your head, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. So now either you say Muhammad is a liar, and this is not a true, or you say Muhammad, you say Muhammad was telling the truth, and yes, if you raise your head, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. And that explains many things we see to, today in this world. You know? That explains a lot of things. Or you say maybe Muhammad is just scaring them, and Muhammad is using, uh, uh, he knew that there are a bunch of uh, naive people and he lied to them and he tried to scare them in order to make them obey him. What do you, which, which one you choose? Or what about Muhammad saying the following, as long as you are a person who is saying uh, they are not ignorant, uh, they are etc. You know, okay, so what about this one as an example? That each time shaitan he hear a prayer, a Muslim praying, shaitan he will start farting. Did you witness the fart of shaitan, Mr. Mimi Hijab and his gang? Who of you witnessed the fart of shaitan when you pray? Can you record it for us? How Muhammad he was informed about such an extreme knowledge, which nobody was able even to discover. What is that? So obviously, Muhammad and the ones around him, they are a bunch of ignorant and we are talking about the believers not the disbelievers the disbelievers did not believe simply because this is stupid and this is why in the Quran they keep making fun of him and they say this is nothing but a fairy tales of the ancients stupid fairy tales we don't believe in it so yes the Quran is full of evidence of the Arab making fun of Muhammad 
telling fairy tale stories chapter 6 verse 25 chapter 83 ch chapter 8 verse number 31 16 24 23 83 25 5 27 60 68 46 17 68 15 and 83 13 all of them they say this is nothing but the fairy tale of the previous generation do you see it this is the tales of the ancient this is fairy tales so yes they made fun of him and they have their reasons shaitan don't fart where you get this from why shaitan will fart if nobody hear him anyway oh he don't want to hear the prayer this is the only way to stop hearing what about putting some cottons in your head shaitan he's not smart <laughs> so are you see but he says this nothing but tales of the ancient we heard this before they told him we heard this before and if we wish we can make even the same or better we heard those things before and muhammad he claimed that the quran is our sign the quran is the miracle when our sign reached them and now soon we will go and speak about the miracle of the quran because we will die laughing at what it's called miracle in the quran remember the quran itself is a miracle just remember that and we will laugh about this statement exactly now let's go back to the video the hilarious video by uh, <coughs> uh, Mimi hijab team let us see here's a visual representation of what the one probably believed occurred during the time <sighs> hey fellas did you hear Muhammad said this time well what did he say this time? Huh. He said he split them in half. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, no, Muhammad did not even say that. You see, the Muslims are reading. They don't even know how to read. They are ignorant like their prophet. We'll show you. Wait. He did it? That means he's got to be a prophet. Let's become Muslims. Yay! Wow! What the fuck? See, this is a Muslim video made by uh, Mimi Hijab team using the F word speaking about their prophet and what happened. Did you hear the F word? Those are Muslims defending their prophet, using the F word inside the video, making cartoon about what happened to their prophet, making fun of him and using the F word. And supposedly they are trying to refute this guy. Continue. Okay, so what are the facts? The companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, told people that the moon split. Mm. None of their contemporaries denied that this occurred. Mm. The disbelievers confirmed that it did split, but explained it off as magic. And finally, my piece of advice to Radvan, who thought that the only miracle performed by the Prophet, peace be upon him, was the moon splitting, know that there are volumes upon volumes that have been written in support of Islam as where? a religion of God that have documented other miracles. Where, where? Where now let us go to business. This is first the verse we are talking about, and here the spanking start. First of all, the Quran did not even say that Allah he split anything. Read with me carefully, Allah. This is stupid cult. The judgment day is near, and the moon is split asunder. Who is the one who split the moon? Doesn't say. Do you say? And this is was a part of a poetry. Of a man, his name is Imr al Qais. Imr al Qais, who is supposedly was a Christian, uh, he said, "That is Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar." An Ghazalin, you know, many people they know the, the the rest of the poetry. So Muhammad he took the poetry, he put it in his book, and look how many. How many verses of this point been taken from the point of this man and Muhammad he put it exactly as in the Quran and now let me tell you what the Muslim they say uh, we cannot find it this in any of our books where is the books where is the books the Muslims they do always uh, Erdogan just a few years ago he made an, a big 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 conference saying that there is many books of hadith we have to burn it and we have to get rid of it it's a shame 
So through centuries, they filter, and who dare, who dare to show anyone, like who, who dare in the Middle East to say, hey, look at this poetry, and look what Muhammad said. Muhammad is a thief. Then at when shaq al qamar, the moon, is, the, 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 the hour is near, and the moon is split. It's exactly as it is in the Quran. The difference between the verse and the Quran and the the, uh, the one in uh, in front of us, and instead of Danat, Muhammad, he used a Tarabat, which does not fit even with the tone. So here it's more accurate. From a deer who hunted my heart and her run away. So this is a poetry the guy is speaking about, like when he saw his beloved uh, uh, girl as the moon split because she is the moon he's talking about her so the moon split asunder and a deer stole my heart and run look you see those all the one who have a black line and their need of them already in that in the text those already are stolen by Muhammad and Muhammad he put them in the Quran Faramani, I will read only the ones which is in the Quran. Faramani, Fataata, Faakar, Fatarakni, Kahashim, El Muhtabar, etc. Naisu Torfi, Bainehi, Hawar. And the poet go and go and go. So, first of all, this is a story in poetry, and the Muslim they say, What is the proof? I mean, where is the proof? Because they accept only this proof. Okay, we will we will prove it to you that this is a poetry from from the, from the same verse. If Allah is the one who did split the moon, where it says that? Where in the verse of, of in front of us it says that Allah He split the moon? It doesn't say that. Here in the Arabic it says. وَإِنْ يَرُوا آيَةٍ or uh, you know آية يَعْرُضُوا they, they will, they will uh, you know they don't like it so if they see a sign they turn away but who is the one who made the sign? who is the one who split the moon? and they say this is nothing but a magic but the magic here is not about the split the moon the word magic here, they are saying Muhammad is a person who is sick with magic. You see, the Muslims, when they say that the, the pagans, they say this is magic, they will not tell you that Muhammad himself, according to Muslims, he was under the influence of magic. So they are saying, well, this guy, he is under the influence of magic, so we cannot trust what he say. How we can prove that Muhammad was under the influence of magic? We go to the book of Hadith in the front of your eyes, and you will see the Muslims themselves in their documentation, they are so proud about a bewitched prophet. Here we go. Uh, let us see. Here we go. Sahih al-Bukhari. Can they say this is uh, not uh, Sahih? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. The name of the book is Sahih. They will say to you it's not Sahih. The Prophet was bewitched so that be, he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Okay. If you Muslims witnessing to us that your Prophet is an illusionate person, he imagined he done a thing. In fact, he did not. Is it possible that he imagined that he split the moon or his God split the moon, but in fact he did not? What you will say to me, oh, no, 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 this uh, this one was real. How we will know which one is real and which one is not when Muhammad is a sick man? Um, anyway, the, the, you see, the Arab in that time, anyone they don't understand what's happening to him, they say he was bewitched. They play magic for everything. Because this guy, he looked normal. He's not like... In the bed, he you know he looked normal. Suddenly, he says stupid things and he do stupid things. So they claim it that he was bewitched. 
and not only Muhammad is not trustworthy to listen to because as you see the Muslims are saying to us a person his name is Muhammad he was bewitched and he imagined he had done a thing if we go to different hadith, you will see even the sexual relationship of the Prophet was not true. It was fake sexual relationship. Aisha saying, not me. The Prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had slipped and he had boom boom with his wives. In fact, he did not. So Muhammad, the, 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 the sickness he have is so powerful to the point even his sex was fake. So how you can trust him saying the moon split and this is what they meant here that this is nothing but a magic because this person is under the influence of magic this is what they believe there is something wrong with him he's mentally ill so they did not agree they saw it secondly the muslim they will come with tons of fabrication in the hadith and suddenly the hadith which is mentioning anything about this it doesn't matter if it's weak accepted not accepted it's okay all of it will support that the statement so we will say it but let us prove that this is false statement in a very easy way there is something it's called Quran according to revelation this is the Muslim website revelation order what does that mean for those who do not know they are not familiar Quran which we have today in our hand according to Muslims not according to us it is not the true Quran it is Quran as Uthman he made it to be Uthman ibn Affan so the first chapter Muhammad he received in the Quran is number one but it is in the Quran today number 96 do you understand the idea so in the in the right we find the numbers which is the real number of the revelation, which means how Muhammad supposedly received it, the illusionate Muhammad, how he received it in which order. So the order of numbers in the left is the false order, and the order in the right is the correct order. All right? Just put that in your mind. So uh, actually, I don't know if I said, uh, the, the one in the left is the correct number, sorry. And the one in the right is the uh, 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 is the false number. So if we go now and we check the chapter we are let us say uh, arguing about, chapter fifty four, chapter fifty four, Al Qamar. Okay, where we can find the chapter of Al Qamar? Is it is it uh, the location going to impact if this is a true? A verse a true miracle or not let us see how that will work so if we search for al qamar and remember al qamar is 54 54 as you see 54 in the quran today all right so if we search for chapter 54 in the quran today which chapter that will be here we go chapter al qamar is uh, number 37 this is the real order the Quran today is 54 take a note all right so this is let us put a line here okay this is the correct number we will type the letter C next to it correct all right this one is the false number. We will type the word F. Perfect. And I will take a snapshot. So later we can go back to it. And we will compare because this is very important. Will help us to get Muhammad busted. All right. Now, why Christian Prince is doing this? What is the purpose of all of this? The answer is very simple. If this verse, chapter number 37, and there's a chapter came after it, the Arab, they are begging Muhammad for a miracle. That's mean this miracle never happened. Are you getting my point? If we can find chapters came after chapter 37, which is the correct number, 
any chapter speaking that the Arab asking Muhammad for a miracle why you don't have a miracle that's mean this miracle is false do we agree I think it's very clear okay now let us see in the Quran what we will find disaster if Muhammad he did this miracle and the Arab they saw this miracle and he the Muslims in the in the video they say this they would they saw it they saw it but yet they say this is a uh, magic but the magic here they are clean they are saying that Muhammad is sick we prove it to you even Muslims agree that Muhammad is sick so look at the Quran chapter 6 verse number 37 chapter 6 this is according to the Quran today this is the number according to the Quran today but what is the Quran order for this chapter chapter 6 is Al-An'am all right in chapter 6 Al-An'am it says they say why not a miracle from his God sent down to him from his Lord see they are asking and not only that the Quran confirmed he did not send them miracles and I will show you Muhammad he said to them uh, uh, all animals they live and they are Muslims and they we, they never uh, uh, we never omitted anything of the book what does have to do with the they are challenging you where is your signs and look the verse confirm that Allah did not give a sign Allah has certainly power to send down a sign but most of them understand not understand not what <laughs> you see he did not say to them I send you the sign he said to them for sure Allah can send a sign but you don't understand <laughs> now all what we need to do we check the location of this chapter if this is a chapter coming after the chapter of the moon which is the original number is 37 not 54 as we should see here that's mean the miracle of the moon is a fiction it's a lie let us go and check the chapter remember this is a chapter of al -Anam. according to the Quran today is number six so what is the real number for al -Anam in according to Revelation let us see here we will search for al -Anam. number six let us see <coughs> all right here we go we found it Al-An'am Al is number 55 is number what 55 my friend do you see it In the Quran today is number six, but the real number is 55. But remember, the verse we are talking about, about the moon, the original number is 37. 37. So this chapter came way after that chapter. If we say 55 minus 37, that's mean this chapter came 18 chapter after the chapter of the moon so after Muhammad became a prophet after that incident of the moon story for many years because remember Muhammad took him many years to come with the Quran after many years we have the Quran confirm that Muhammad have zero miracle zero and the verse in the front of you confirming that if we put what we showed you a second ago hold on let us do this because some maybe they don't understand yet what I'm talking about hmm? if you remember we just made we did this right we did this number here uh, let's try to make it all appear in the same time all right so the original number the original number of the verse as you see in the front of you the one of the moon is 37 the one we are talking about now which is denying any miracle sent down by Allah and Allah himself saying certainly Allah can send miracles he did not say I did already what's wrong with you he said certainly I can this is a chapter number 55 
So it's very easy to prove that the Quran is a stupid book. If the Muslim, they will say to us that Allah, he forgot to mention to them in this verse that do you remember I sent you the moon splitting miracle before? If Allah forgot that, that means this is the whole story. Is Allah is not God. What for God? So it's very easy to prove that this is nothing but a scam and Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. And not only that, are we done? No, my friend, we are not done. I wish. Let me add you more spice to the to the food we are cooking now. If we go in different verses in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 118. There is tons of verses, by the way, came long after this. They keep asking him for a miracle. It says, chapter 2, verse number 118. Chapter 2, this is according to the Quran today, but chapter 2 is not according to the Quran at the time of Muhammad. So, let us check out here it says say those without knowledge they say speak not Allah not to us why I don't speak to us and why he don't give us a sign still they are asking for a sign and then he says to them well the one before them they says that too and he did not mention to them that I send you the sign you forgot the moon splitting what's wrong with you now let us check chapter 2 al-baqarah where it is located is it located before the moon chapter or after let us see al-baqarah where is al-baqarah hmm. let us type al-baqarah guess what al-baqarah is number 87 87 today in the Quran today is number two okay as long as the moon chapter came as number 37 so 87 minus 37 we have more than 50 chapter after this is almost the end of the Quran 50 chapter after and it's still the Arab they are saying how come he never have a miracle and Quran confirmed that he did not send a miracle And we can keep going and there's tons of verses to follow This is a chapter 2 uh, uh, This is chapter Yunus, but Yunus is before it uh, This is a chapter Al-Isra as an example Al-Isra is saying look at this we refrain from sending signs. Allah, he says that in the time of Muhammad, he refrained from sending signs because the men of former generation treated them as false. So, and look how stupid this statement is. If the Quran itself is a miracle, how you say, I refrain from sending miracles? By saying this statement, you just made a miracle. A Muslim Abdul will say to me, exactly, brother. Exactly what? That's mean exactly Allah is a stupid. Because it's like saying, I'm not going to uh, uh, cook uh, 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 or bar do barbecue while you are doing barbecue. I refrain from sending signs. Isn't it, this is saying the sentence here, according to Muslims, this is a miracle. The Quran is a miracle, brother. Make the Quran like this. Quran In Arabic, Quran is the most stupid book ever. That's why, that's why we Arabic Christians were rejected. It's stupid. It's silly. So... And we refrain from sending signs only because men of former generation treated them as false. So Allah, he have a strike. He refrained. So if you are saying to me, no, Allah, he sent a sign, that's mean this is a contradiction. If you say Allah, he refrained from sending sign, that's mean the Quran is splitting, a verse about splitting the moon. It is true. It is stolen from the, uh, from the poetry we showed you from the guy who was named Abu Al-Qais. Whatever you go, it's stupid. So tons of verses came after those verses and yet Muhammad and the Arab asking him Where is the Quran? Where is the ayat? Where is the signs? Why you don't have signs? Where is your signs? Huh? We can compare all those chapter chapter, you know one by one and you will see There is tons of chapters saying the Quran saying confirming that Allah he have no miracle he did not send the miracle and he will not even send a miracle. 
So my friend, the Muslims who made these videos, not only they help us to laugh at Muhammad statement regarding the moon split, they help us to approve or to prove that he is a false prophet. And there's one more thing which I did not mention. Remember here, when Muhammad, he said, the moon is split, and this is a sign of a judgment day. That means that Muhammad is a false prophet because this is, was 1400 years ago, claiming that the, the judgment day is in the corner, is not just near. You see, in Arabic it says, اقتربت. اقتربت So Muhammad is warning that the judgment day is, is here. This is a sign of a judgment day. Many people ignore this fact here that Muhammad is claiming that this is the start of the judgment day. And this is why Muhammad, he said to a child that this child will not grow old unless judgment day before he died, before he grow old, which means before he became 30, judgment day will come. So Muhammad again is a false prophet. So thank you, uh, Mr. Mimi Hijab and the team of Mimi Hijab. I really appreciate your work. You are doing great uh, 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 you know, and uh, yeah, I agree with you. Allah, he pray for not to, you know, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Problems on his hands. No problems. However, however, because he's spent time. However, we got you busted. Thank you guys. Don't forget to download the video, share it with everybody you know. And if you speak other languages, don't forget to add subtitle and be aware the Muslims will flag your videos like crazy because they cannot handle the truth. That Santa Claus is real. Yes, he's real. But Muhammad is not. Neither his God. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you. And this is a Christian prince was with you getting Islam busted as usual. Take care and may the Lord bless.